Welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. Now, what if I told you there was a great alternative to Unify? You could save almost half the cost over an equivalent system from Ubiquity, yet get 99% of the functionality. Oh, and I forgot to mention the interface looks similar, and it's from the world's largest networking device company. After the intro, I'll compare costs and features between the TP-Link Omada line and the Ubiquity Unify line. So first, let's compare apples to apples. Then we can compare apples to the Dream Machine Pros at the end. With my own money, I bought the following equipment. Links in the description. The components are the TL605 router, the TL-SG8-2000P PoE switch, the Amana cloud controller, and the AC1350 wireless access point. We'll compare these to the USG, the Unify Switch 8 60 Watt, Cloud Key, and Unify Pro Access Point, which offer about the same functionality as the Omad equipment. My plan for all this equipment is to convince my father he needs to upgrade the Wi Fi network in his house. Why? Because he has terrible Wi Fi and I can manage it remotely for him. First, we have the TL R605 router. It has a one gigabyte WAN port plus three combination gigabit WAN LAN ports. The WAN LAN ports can be used for failover in case you have multiple internet connections. There's also one ordinary gigabyte LAN port. If we look at the Unify equipment, the equivalent is the USG. It has one WAN port, one LAN port, one VOP port, and one console port. Second, we have the TL SG 2008P switch. It has 8 gigabit ports, four of which are PoE Plus ports with a total of 62 watts. The ports can have power up to 30 watts per port. Unify has the Unify Switch 8 60 watt. It also has four PoE ports, but they are the plain vanilla PoE ports that are limited to 15 watts per port. Next we have the Omana Cloud Controller for cloud access. It can be PoE or USB powered. It also has a link port, a USB backup port on the front. The equivalent is the Unify Cloud Key. It is also PoE powered, has a reset button, and has 16 gigabytes of internal memory. For the Wi-Fi access point, we will be using the TP Link Omada AC 1350 gigabit wireless access point. For a direct comparison with Unify, I couldn't find an exact match, but the Unify Pro was a close fit with speeds up to 1750. Fifth, let's look at the control software. TP-Link updated their software in the last year or so. It looks very similar to the Unify software, but as far as I can tell, they have the same basic and extended features. I would definitely check out for any specific features that you want before buying either one. So on the right here, I have the TP-Link system. On the left, the Unify system. Let's take a closer look at these. Now, if we look at these two, we can see they follow a similar format. They have tabs down the side. On the Ubiquity, they have arrows that come out. On the TP-Link, they have a column that comes out. Uh, and you can even see the icons look very similar. If we go down, we have dashboards, statistics, map, devices, clients, insights, threat management. And here we have dashboards, statistics, map, devices, clients, insight, and log. So basically, they're very similar. If we switch to statistics, then we can see here we have the different looking graphs. Uh, so on Ubiquity, we have traffic, system, performance, switch, speed test, debugging. And on TP-Link, we have performance, switch, statistics, speed test. If we switch to map view, you can see the Unify one is much harder to see. The Ubiquity one, they seem to have learned to make it better looking, so they actually made the fonts darker than the Unify one. Then they also made it so that the actual devices stand out more. They don't blend in. 
Now, what's different with the Unify it has the built-in threat management if you have the Dream Machine Pro. If we go to settings on the Omada, then we have all these similar settings that are on the Unify one. Uh, they're just in a different order. Actually, they're mostly in the same order. But there's a few things that are different. So now let's look at cost. The total cost for the TP-Link system as described is $298. That is pretty cheap. The Unify system uh, that's built equivalently, it is $504.50. So the TP-Link system is a far better deal for the same system, saving you $206.50. If we switch to Unify's Dream Machine Pro, which they are pushing, then the total is 536 for the Ubiquiti Unify with the Dream Machine Pro and the same AP. If you're going Unify, definitely get the Dream Machine Pro for $30 more. It is a much better deal. But if you compare the Yamada with the Dream Machine Pro, you save $230 going with the Yamada. And with your savings, you could add four surveillance cameras and still have $40 left over. If we buy the three cheapest surveillance cameras for the Dream Machine Pro, then the cost goes up to $823 for the Dream Machine combo. I find that Unify way overcharges for their cameras. If instead you go with the TP-Link Omana with the extra $300 savings, you can expand your home lab by buying an extra server. Here is an example of a nice server I found. If you want to upgrade to an 8-port PoE switch with Amada, the price of the switch doubles, but the cost is still only $313 without cameras, or $543 when we also add in three security cameras. So without a doubt, the TP-Link system is a better deal. It is fully featured, and as far as I can tell, it has the same features minus some of the colored graphics thingies. If you know of any must-have feature that the TP link doesn't have, please leave a comment down below. And a special thank you to all my supporters who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to be notified of more helpful videos. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye. And you could save about half the cost over equivalent system with the TP-Link Omada line and the, Ubiqu and the Ubiquiti Unify line. Save almost half the cost over an equivalent system from you, you, blah, blah, blah. So welcome to Technodad Life, and my name is Jeff. Now, what if I told you, now what if I told you I needed a cup of coffee? the TP-Link Omada line and the Ubiquiti Unify line. With my own money, I bought the following comp 